As you can see, I've done a lot of painting since we since the last video because I wanted to show you what could be done. First, this curtain is going to be red. If you look at your photograph, you'll see that. It always is good to paint yellow under red if you want it really bright, and I do. Secondly, I have um, started painting these bricks that are somewhat brownish. And this is just using my raw sienna That's a, to paint the brick, but I, I don't want it even. So I'm going to put some in that is um, more thick, thicker than others. Let me pick up that drip. And then I want to put in some really, can you see how I'm picking up lots of paint there? And so we put in that and therefore it'll look uneven. I've also started painting up some of the um, um, gray where the, where the brick has fallen away. And that's just fairly simple to do. But one thing I have done, it, it still needs to be uneven. So I can do it two ways. I've got already mixed some ultramarine blue and burnt sienna to make some really dark darks. And I can just put that in and start it. But then I can come over here and add some texture to it. Now, I have already painted a couple of the red flowers. So now I'm going to paint another one. I'm using Sennelier Bright Red because I really like that color. And I'm going to sort of dance in the color. And I think I'm gonna put it right here because that looks like a good place for it. This is what I call dancing it in. Can you see my brush just moving sort of all around the place? Then, after we've done, and we'll do that to several other things, but I'm not going to now because you'll see. Then we'll come back in later and we'll add the green of the leaves. And you might want to add some, you know, sticking out some other places. You can use your judgment. I can also do the same thing where I have my white flowers because you save that white, but therefore you got to paint the green. And then when we remove the mask, it'll be green. Now, remember for my green, I frequently use Thalo Green plus Burnt Sienna. And remember, we call it Sarah's Green. I did not name that myself. Now, over here we have Wisteria. And I'm going to paint, the, I've done a few of them. But the Wisteria, again, we'll sort of just dance it, dance it in. Do it lightly. Then, I want to take some really thick Windsor Violet, and I want to touch it in to give it depth. Now, I've decided my light's coming from here, and so therefore, all my, I'll do that. So, that gets you caught up to where I am right now. 